Massachusetts uh, residents turned in 20, just under 25,000 pounds of pharmaceuticals. Now, we acknowledge that they're not all controlled substances, but the controlled substances are a good portion of it. Throughout New England, there were, let me, I can, let me cheat here because I couldn't remember, um, just over 67,000 pounds. And you know what we call that in DEA? We call that a clue, that there are some, there's some over-prescribing going on out there because people spend good money for these ph uh, pharmaceuticals, whether they're controlled or not, but they're throwing them away. 67,000 pounds of drugs in a one-year period because it's been one year since we had a, a take back. So, and over the course of the 10, I, I didn't get that number, but it's, I think for just New England, we're over 400,000 pounds. So, you know, that's just, if, if we leave here with anything today, it's that in all aspects of prescription writing, we're writing too much. Can't, again, um, I can't emphasize enough to encourage people to utilize the uh, prescription monitoring programs. They're there for the physicians, they're there for the pharmacists. Um, you know, the, the, the law enforcement side of that is way down the road. If the pharmacist is using it, if the, the physicians are using it properly, it'll never get to us because you're going to police yourselves. You're going to see uh, who, is, who is attempting to abuse the system and get controlled substances. Um, um, so a lot of what we're concerned about is PMP utilization, and PMP for medicine is like warrant management for law enforcement. Just because you don't have to look at it doesn't mean that you shouldn't. And what we are trying to promote is that taking the time to run that report can not only save a life, it certainly insulates you from, and, and puts you on notice of um, the fact that this patient um, for example, is receiving medicines from other prescribers and in combination with what you're about to write for could kill them. And so we're really trying to share information with those who provide care in Norfolk County uh, about those kinds of things. Um, Dave mentioned we've talked a little bit you know, over the course of the morning about fentanyl and I wanted just to, to illustrate you know, how prevalent fentanyl is now. In 2013, our state police drug lab tested five samples that were positive for fentanyl. In 2014, it was up to 170. And just through August of this year, it was up to 473. So I think when we talk about this overdose rate and um, how much more potent heroin is becoming, part of that has to be because of the mix with fentanyl and the fact that these drug cartels have figured out how to produce it and are now trafficking it along with um, the heroin.